you want to be a vampire, all you need is a little bit of, what, red lipstick, some fangs, or if you want to go out to the Halloween store, change it up a little bit, you can be the Grim Reaper. That's not too bad. Mm, those are pretty cheap. Or try being the Headless Horseman, right? That's a pretty easy one. You can carve a jack-o'-lantern, or, you know, if you don't want to carry that all around all night, you can just get one of those plastic ones. Or here's another thing you can try. Hey, it's the obvious. A student, right? You're in a graduation gown. Also, you've got an excuse to carry your champagne around all night. Or get a gavel, poof, you've become a judge, right? You can be Judge Wapner or Judge Mathis, whoever you want. Or maybe you want to change that up. You can have a hat and a wand. You're the head of Hogwarts or the head of the Hobbits or <laughs> whatever you like. Thank you, Grayson. Another classic is the witch, but in all these cases, you just buy the accessories. You don't have to buy a whole outfit, so you don't have to spend a lot. And in addition to looking adorable, right, there's something else, too. Sometimes people want to have on, mostly women, kind of a sexy costume, but maybe you don't want everybody to see you in it. So in this case, the gown is your perfect cover-up on the way to the party, on the way from the party. You don't attract attention. Nobody knows what you are up to, and you can kind of get all the way around. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're sexy underneath your robe there. Thank you guys and happy Halloween.